Yeah, people still do that. They do this. Purse your lips when you put on your lip gloss. Not your lipstick, though, because it was smudge. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. I want some folks to come in on the live. I haven't done one in a while. Yeah, last time I did one was in May. But it's for good reason, though, because, you know, we're not going to come live like every day, can we know? You know, we're not believing that we just can't stand it up on the internet. As you all can see with some of your um, favorite people you love to hate, you all turn around and say, oh, them come on, and them no fun, them, them too much. And I choose some of them too much for you. Them too much. <laughs> so we try our best not to be too much, you know, just enough for the people and and do our thing so come on in good evening by the way i'm live on tiktok and instagram i wanted to um go live on my youtube but for some reason from the other day i haven't been able to go live on my youtube i think it's for software reasons because minute to first panda something day i'm like a 12 year old engineer slash assistant slash technician Mali, I can't do everything she just fed up with me but call her a while ago son you want me baby hi cuz i missed you here, Malia, to me now. I'm going to call her if you work out the software issue we may have with you too. So she come and she get frustrated. Say, Here, mommy, we can't help you with that one. Yeah? <laughs> I just walk off. I'm not even going to say nothing because I'm going to say, like, God, is our mother's child. Yeah. So I can't go live by YouTube right now. But I'm going to upload because I haven't even uploaded anything on my channel since I created it, guys, because. There's been a lot going on behind the scenes. Some of it actually, I would say, prevent me or prevented me or has prevented me. Now, I'm not going to make an excuse and, you know, procrastinate and whatever. I'm just going to upload the video when the time is right because that's how I believe time works. Time is just time. I don't care. Oh, me, come in and say, you know, so I'm going to do the video when I'm going to edit and I'm going to put up it this evening. And then when me start cooking with me, I don't have to eat me not come by no live and uh, post up nothing but no youtube <laughs> but i really did try to go live on my youtube this evening and like i said for some issue the software issue but the content i've been two things i want to tell you guys wait i want to wait till more people come hi 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 good evening i'm gonna come by my live let me talk to you as me said guys i've been going through a lot lately i need y'all to pray for me send up on a prayers them because there is so much evil in this world and especially when you're doing good and you know you stand out they're gonna come at you so that's been happening with me and i ain't gonna lie right yeah i'm gonna keep no secret for nobody again i yeah, telling her like it is so all of the people them like my cousin sanya oh man what's i love my life that lad god sanya we're not far from when we're not far from when when you just keep the prayers them up you know prayers them and the psalms them and everything we're good people. Need for sustain them in this evil world where we live in. Yeah. So. Hi, TikTok. I know I kept, like, I've been saying I'm going to keep up with it, but I got too much to do, guys. And until I get, like, a real assistant, because poor Malia is tired of me. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I feel like she's not here, but I can't like call her. She don't answer. I swear. I'm tired. Yeah. So no come in, come in panel live. Come, come, come. Because there's a few things I want to talk to you guys about and update you on what's happening in the grill with the whole advocacy. Um, you know, with the people and with the water. In a them pipe with them nuggets. And them only I get some time now that the drought, the quote unquote drought is over. Alright, so now hear me. More make sure some audio good. You know, like, you see, like, how I try to figure out the YouTube software thing, and make it, me never get it. Me time it now, you know. Come and, like, figure things out. <laughs> so now I'm just, like, even here looking at it on my computer screen, and I'm just telling myself, yo, me have to figure this shit out. Bet you sometime tonight or some, somewhere down the line, I'm going to figure it out on my own. Or me can watch my tutorial, which I never do. Like, I just always still use my brain, because I feel like... With stuff like chat GPT and all these things, your brain get lazy. I don't use any of those tools. I don't use AI for much. Me I'm gonna talk to Siri sometime. Yeah, Siri, all right. My Siri's a British man. I'm gonna say, hey Siri. And he said, mm-hmm. 
<laughs> That's as much AI as I do for right now. But I don't use the one that my right documents as well. My finger them on my brain. Me use right documents the same way. But yeah, I want to get some more people in on the live. Um, and then I'm going to get into it. All right. Is Mal Mal with me now? Yes, she is. But she know what my bad her. She in her room with her friend. Tell her friend birthday. Yeah, big up her friend. Happy birthday, Isabel. Her friend Isabel. They're in the same class. And me and her mommy are friends too. Um, she is Emily Newland and she is chic Jamaica on the internet. Very diverse and talented human being. I don't know where I'm going to deal with good people. The nice, people. nice people like myself will like. We're not like the not nice them. All right, don't call me. I'll get up from the chair a little bit. I'm just here sitting in the kitchen. And we're going to have a look at reasoning. Because good while we're not doing it. And some things there for reason. But, all right. So, come on, come. Let's do this. <laughs> Somebody said, continue fighting for the rights of the people. Of course. It's my right too. Sometimes me not have no water with me there. At Jamaica, I live my experience. Most of the things that the regular people experience. Because me is just a regular person too. What about me different than me not experience bad customer service, part to all power road, light gone when you're not supposed to when you pay a light bill, your internet now work good all when you pay your bill. Bag of things. Look here. If me did for come live more often, I would have only for enemy because them don't like the truth. Them don't like the truth. But you may not have the time. I don't have time for come live every time, Arfi. Put up content every minute. Me realize, like, since we become a part of this internet world, me realize that some people do this every day. Every day. Some actually for hours a day. And I'm like, damn. Like, the one them want make good content and I make money after me get that. But some of it are just them, like, I put up other people content. Uh, 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 like, nah, make no sense. Can't even, yeah, sometimes I try to decipher what they must say. And then it blog at them now. Put up the some enough of the people and when now nah, make no sense like them compile it and you'll be like, is this content? So me kinda me very picky with this. So I don't know, I'm gonna see me every day if I can't tell me and tell me some enough like I'm oh, soon I deal with the people and wicked or not terribly now. <laughs> Yo, the comment section is my new comedy central. <laughs> I swear. Yo, the people them deal with the people them wanna tire that. Wicked on the internet. I mean, I tell you, like, most of them deserve it. Most of them deserve it. Cause I don't like them, I come. I tell you, no good thing. You know what I mean? I pay arms out. Why make Jamaican so bag bag up on the internet? Terrible man. Somebody say you would have more strength. Thanks for your strength, man. We're never my forward, but we're not going to be there every day forward, somebody day. I take up every topic, somebody day. Cause me not tell a lie, them deserve it when you no beat them. Them too much. Some sometimes it go on so long, like you just know say that person you just want up on the internet because they like the attention and want to be talked about and, and not actually about the subject. You know what I mean? So I always want it to be about the subject, not just about me appearing and like me not love attention like that. Mm -mm. Sometimes I just want in my own little world, you know. Mm. Come my more people for company live. Let me see how much people my have on Instagram. Can I tell? What about TikTok? You like my hairstyle? Me take out deep files, locks them. The rest of them can't beat me. I got you. Me used to have my nice pretty locks. One day I'm gonna post one of my locks picture. I'm gonna see it. You never know. We said the rest of them can't beat me. Then can say, oh, she did have locks and cut your van and put on fast locks. And oh, she now wig and she this and she that. I'm just enjoying all of it. So now I'm just have my natural ear. Catch up in a one. I have one nice little clip when I can see it. I love them little hair accessories. You see them? <laughs> Yeah, from when my want come live, but then, as I say, everything in its right moment, you know. And I've been going through a lot too, so, you know, when you go through a lot, you not really want like, talk, even when you think something. 
you just go and do what you do until when it moment right so i know the moment right so no forward in me i forward to me i'll get something to drink right here in the kitchen i'm not far away okay i don't know why the writing so fine pan tiktok speaking of which me need to talk about my glasses hold on there me i come people give me a moment give me one second no one forward I'm gonna put on a fan. I hope it doesn't bother you guys. You can let me know if it's too loud and I'll I'll turn it off. But me not turn a light time out. You have to be at multiple times of Jamaica now. That's why we need water. Yes, I are. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> And then we can go live on Facebook from my computer. Because as I say, YouTube, I give me a problem. It load, it fun alright. Come me hot. And when me go for a sweat on my face and a, and a water aisle. My face is highly bad. So I don't want to sweat right now. Alright. First thing I'm going to talk about are my glasses. I'm going grieve. And I'm going to hold this. So I'm going to share it. And put people on the end yard. Missy one woman do one video with something like this when I go say the other day. I trust me, but I understand how she feels. So I'm telling you the glasses story now. So me they are good good. Ears drop off a calendar and yeah, them. Sometimes I give a little like me and say, mm -hmm, something I go on with my eye. My friend them say me a squint sometime. So I say, alright, me I go get my glasses. I mean, they are contemplate. Whoa, what about me? I'm like, what me out with? How me out with? I mean, it was a glasses thing expensive. Me used to, you know, deal with glasses thing for my grandmother and thing. So, it happened just one day. Be just like, after months and months of not doing it. Because also, whenever I find out that I have any issue with my health, then I start to actively work on it. So, I've been working on my eyes with castor oil. Because, you know, if you have cold pressed castor oil, not the black one. Because, by the way, the black one um becomes black because they put the ash from the castor seed into the castor oil that's how you get black castor oil so not the black one excuse me the um pure cold pressed castor oil right you can drop it in your eye it was known as the eye drop of the slaves back in the day so me that i treat my eye with the castor oil and i drink um this type of sulfur we're good for the eye come here say no sam is still young me, me no have no eye problem i never have none before me have to drive a lot plus me use the computer and the phone a lot and thing so me say all right me i work on one eye place one day and me say me i have to just test my eye and get to deal with that and order the glasses and you know pay the money or whatever me have to do because me i go pay in installments because that's what they were doing i'm like why not Ain't nobody got tons of money now. I'm one one nice classes. So me take myself now. Go and do eye tests. Right? And choose this eye glasses. Nice. Now you me love the look. Because the day when me did that look at the pure, the, the common plastic looking one. Them, and you know like that. They look there. And my style. The big bulky frame. Them, and my thing. I like simplicity. So. Me go choose this one here. Yeah. Me go tell you not how much feet and wanna tell me now so the prescription i did like 50 something thousand that i feel the doctor see me um tell me what happened to my eye which my eyes were good by the way she said they were in good condition i just need a little help because of the light from the device and whatever she observed so the prescription is 50 odd thousand that alone shake me me shook me i said eh, that's so much money my eye them no bad and just imagine the person them we have four eye how much 50 them prescription so the prescription i did 50 at thousand when me go for the frame now after me say me dead in the store and me i look around i mean i like take nothing just for tech sake or just because it's it cheaper or whatever i know me that me want one frame when me can change the lens any amount of time i still love the frame 
um, or if me have a few frames, you know, the type of frame that mama like, I could be the type of frame that mama like. So I just my like, my like nice things. A Bulgari. Take up the frame. And. Uh, um, and go for the price. Guess how much fee? It dearer than the prescription. 60 at thousand. So that a hundred and thousand, I got this in. So between my insurance and my pocket, a hundred and a thousand. So I think about it and I say, Amber, alright, it's expensive, but take it because you know like them cheap looking plastic one here, you know like them the style there. So I take the glasses. Hundred and thousand, you know. You know what no, I say? Before me tell you what me go tell you though, me, me find out the next thing so me feel scam. So my friend Tulula tell me, say, Amber, what make you pay so much money for your glasses and you could I get 100 glasses per online? <laughs> per one place named Zilul for 100,000. 100,000 dollars could I care for my shopping spree with glasses. And I say, God, no, I feel a way, I feel scam, I feel feel a way. Come here, say all the people who have insurance. All oh, them manage and they have to pay the installment every month or they have to find all of the money. Back in the day, they have to find all of the money. So I say, all right. I don't have the glasses already. I need to help me because when I have your things brighter, I can't see good at everything, but I like it. Plus, I love the look. So, I'm there with my other day at those dollar glasses, my friend, I laugh off of me and I say, Amber, you get chopped. Oh, you forgot to pay so much money. All the prescription cheaper to online. And she show me. And she have like 10 different prescription glasses. She live American. So she said, don't ever do that again. You don't get scammed already. But all right, sis. No worry yourself. Next time I got you. Because he's not an online, online person like that. So. But they are going to my own to add those glasses. When we get from the people them. And. Would you believe say less than one year people and watch you? Watch it. A lopsided. The lopsided now, you know, because this is part papa. It just come out in my hand one day. See, if you have one sitting like this. So my mother did ask me, say, why me never get one I want? We just have a built in. And I said, because this was the only sensible looking glasses. I see like them, they sold out because they did have some big event that day. And this was like out of four, what me did like. And this is supposed to be Bulgari? Really? Me not know if I'm not off, but me sorry, me have to go back down there with you. This week now pass. <laughs> this week now pass, I'm not care back. Then the case, me and wonder, then people, enough knock off existing and then me now naive to somebody come here and say, no, Bulgari, I want Uncommon brand. You know, I'm going to knock off. And I like I Gucci and it Tammy and them, they will knock off everywhere. Glasses we talk about, you know, I don't expect this. Prescription glasses. People, I don't know if I knock off or but I grieve over my hundred and thousand. They have to give me a new set. Or they have to put on back one new pair. I don't want this old one for rotten off too. They have to fix it, man. See, they a puppy pop off in and I like it come off. It broke off. And I'm like, no. So anyway, glasses people no look for me, me I come forward and check on the dog and watch it there. Me not even call their name yet, because when I go, if they not deal with me proper, me I come come and tell them so I can know. But guess what, I don't have to call their name. I saw all of them turn. Every one of the glasses place them, them price like through the roof. People, if you don't want other prescription glasses, go online. Go on zlul.com and any other site will sell them, because enough sites sell them. We work with optometrist and real eye doctor and plus you can go target on some place to get on glasses too i mean target in their jamaica but the <laughs> jamaican them please stop from wasting the money at them places that we are charged so much may we pay for prescription because the doctor do their work fine but the frame the frame was more expensive than the prescription and this is the result it damaged in less than a year I mean, I understand. And as me say, I don't like me, I had them bad, bad, bad. Fee prescription even so high either. The doctor tell me, say, me I had them in a good condition. Somebody said, I have one pair like mine, 330 US. That, that, 
that are still less than 100 and 1000. I'm buy for that. Yes, so I'm disappointed. Hi, mom. My mom says eBay has real designer frames so cheap. Well, your daughter gets scammed, mama. Totally. May I get them back? Then if you give me a new one. We need to, um, the, the eyewear place them in Jamaica, me now go can do no ad for them because if them a give me it free, me still all feel bad. Say them a charge other Jamaican so much when me know say you can get it online for cheap. And the glasses them online real, like a your prescription you send in to them and they fill your prescription. Feel $13, $26, then a little bit of money there. No, sir, too much scam in like Jamaica, me can't bother. I me mean, have to wear my glasses every day. I get used to it knowing that the less August I come out one year since me have it. And it, like I said, it does make things brighter for me because I use a lot of screen to do my work. I not only work on the radio and I have to look on the screen when I'm playing music. Plus, I'm reading a lot of stuff all the time for work. And out of work, I do admin work for myself and for my artist. Big up my artist, Tijan, by the way. We are going to England. Um, we're performing in birmingham on august 10. yes so all of the england people them when i can come out to the show all right so i'm gonna work for tijan i me read over everything i me deal with contracts all type of things so my item always at work i me play the music and i'm show my eye have to look on the screen me drive a lot so me, me feel like me didn't need the glasses and it was like a total rip off 100 a thousand dollar and it broke it since he's sitting pop off there I don't know which party them did I try to save if you care to them. But at this point to how me feel, me not care if me have find it back or not. And the case, chip up, chip up no I could never want a real Bulgari. That's why I don't call the name it because I don't know if I have knock a fake product. But it looks like a, the, the case in a bad condition. I don't even want the case. When I go back, they have to give me a brand new case. And they have to fix the glasses. I have one more year in it. I can't take that something me a juke juke up my nose. My nice little nose. <laughs> so, I did want to get that off of my chest because from it up the other day, I never do a live. But me, it's a rip off. Especially imagine the elderly people who need glasses. And they have to keep refilling and sometimes the, the frame break. And then I forget a new one. Then pitney them and then grand pitney them have to send money for them by... Uh, you know, some of them not so inclined to the internet like me. Uh, and, and I go just send the money, come give mama, or send the money, come give papa. How much fee glasses? 80,000, 70,000, 100,000, 90,000, 60,000. Where people will find them the money and then can do better than two teeth. Then they stop it. So me want to know if this is a Bulgari or a, war, or a Bulgari cousin. I go call their name soon, yeah. I go call their name if I go there and then don't give me either a new pair. Or fix this thing. Maybe a cliff then fix it. And give me one new case. Come in and walk around with that the chip up case there. When me take you out of my handbag in my nice everything. And when people look behind that, they must say, oh, God. Me not know that. <laughs> no. Them not, me not feel upset to the point where me I go call their name. But I do feel like I should say that this happened to me and that Jamaican people can find better options and you can get your glasses for way cheaper online. Because 100 and a thousand, how much US? 100 and a thousand dollars at, at least, maybe one 800 US. You know how much glasses that can give me from Zilu? Eh? <laughs> me see my friend with glasses for 16 dollars. They look like Ray-Bans. <laughs> Me shame, me get scam. The glasses people, them are scam in Jamaica. 60 at those fee frame, 50 at those fee prescription. Fee what? Fee broke off less than one year after. And the case chip up, chip up like, like, me don't know what. So that is the story of the glasses in Jamaica. If you need glasses, it's going to be expensive. Right? And people can't afford them things. And they're not free eye clinic here. And then I have insurance and a good thing me did have insurance guy if me never have insurance more have to find all of the money me end up have to find like 50 and out of it and me did grieve over the money but i'm my own self-care so me said let me do it uncle come for find out now said this is not like a no real bulgari glass guy broke <laughs> and me take care right and i'm broke here good enough good 
anyway moving on from the glasses now to more important things first thing i want to do is to give an update on the negril situation as you all know some weeks ago i was involved in this whole um thing with the minister of water and uh, the people of negril who invited me to be a part of their advocacy group because they need water and it's bad down there all right so at the time the prime minister and all of them well first the minister did i try to go around the thing like whenever they just show it show the whole world say you tell a big line right so i feel some type of way about that what happened happened I reach back at work then they are going to do my thing hold out the pressure and follow up with the people them so since then prime minister make an announcement 24 billion dollar project the same project way matches some who did say now start for 24 months it start already it start already now since all of this it starts so them do the you know the logistics work and find out what they need to do them they start cleaning the pipes as the prime minister was explaining about three weeks ago all of this has been happening it's at the stage now where they are laying the pipe in west end and some um coming out so it's gonna come out from west end they're replacing some pipes but the actual piping system which the prime minister referred to which is now um start which has started like i said as an emergency so the prime minister gave it emergency priority after we go on bad because it looked like if you're not going bad not not going it looked like if you know protest and talk up and when you talk up then they vex then we have to do the work we know business if you want vex it better you vex more than me vex right so in common he made the announcement the work start we see the mp moreland also more communication with moreland which i think him learned him lesson that you can't just ignore the people them so use the mp and you're supposed to represent the people in parliament so he has been doing that um and we did see the result of some of that when he went to parliament and the announcement was made on the tuesday because you know every tuesday they make announcements so that started we're happy to see that however we just here watching and seeing what is happening with the water situation there are a few things to note one at first they were blaming the drought which all that time we know say yeah look a drought are going but drought one seasonally and it wasn't so bad in negril so something was off which we know what was off the water was being fed to the princess hotel construction and that is the thing that they refuse to talk about it's been swept under the carpet i'm like the only person talking about it but that's fine that is why the people were experiencing such severe loss of water in the communities of hanover and westmoreland right so we agitated and advocated um for the people to get the water and by the by the project was announced the rainy season starts started on june 1 as you know so the rain start fall you know it's good we get more water in the aquifers more water in logwood um which is the pumping station that services that part of Hanover where the Princess Hotel Hotel is and parts of Negril as well. Negril also has like a big um, tank as well that the NWC services. They have pumping stations. So um, the rain did bring some help to the situation and raise the levels. However, the people them still have problems with the water. Um, part of that... Part of that is because the infrastructure is small in comparison to the need or the demand, right? Which is what we've always been saying that you have to have infrastructure to match your um, development, which is what they're claiming they're doing by building these big hotels and so on. But you have to be able to manage that. Um, another thing to note is that all right, so when everything happened at first, this was in April, and the situation was taken over by the Prime Minister from the Minister of Water. I'm sure you all saw that. Andrew saw that Matthew was not handling it well, and he took it over and did what needed to be done so that we wouldn't go out and protest. They actually begged us not to protest. That is what happened, because the community was ready to go out and protest. And they said, please, let us meet again on the Wednesday the protest was planned for the Monday and they had a meeting arranged um, at Grand Palladium Hotel 
with Manchester Moda, with the Minister of Security and some other stakeholders and people from the community. And so